the plague dogs is so powerful that I can't really fault it. But that doesn't mean it's an easy watch. In fact, because it's so powerful, I found this to be very, very challenging to watch. But I did. I sat through all of it. I had to stop it a few times and have a cuddle with my cat because it is brutal. It's actually about dogs. But if you're an animal lover in general, I think you'll find this quite difficult. But it's so worth it because, well, if it wasn't difficult then that would be a problem. This was released in 1982. It's an animated feature film directed by Martin Rosen and written by Martin Rosen and based on the novel by Richard Adams. I haven't read the novel. If you know how it compares, please feel free to let me know. Richard Adams did, of course, write Watership Down and the Watership Down film has a U rating, which I think is absolutely insane. The Plague Dogs, however, according to IMDb, has an A rating in the UK. That's the most recent rating that I can find for it. And A meant that it was, well, A for adults, not aimed at children. And that is completely accurate. It is very dark, but as I said, powerful in the right ways. It's about these two dogs, these beautiful dogs called Snitter and Ralph. They're voiced by John Hurt and Christopher Benjamin, who are in this animal testing laboratory and they escape. And it's about them trying to survive out in the wild. They meet this fox character called the Todd, voiced by James Bolam, who's a pretty interesting character. And while they're on the run from this laboratory, they're obviously facing a lot of dangers out in the wild, and we also have humans trying to capture them. There is also this potential that they are carrying the plague, the bubonic plague, which, of course, where the title comes into it. I don't want to say too much more about the specifics of this because I don't want to give away too much. I do recommend it, but only if you're feeling quite strong within yourself. If you're in a fragile state, it may not be the best to watch because there are several moments in this. In fact, many, many moments in this where I really struggled with it. Uh, and as I said, I did have to pause it on several occasions when it got a little bit too much because the dogs are in pain, they're wounded, they're hungry. It's it's so upsetting. And one of the dogs, I won't give away too much or how they tell this story, but one of the dogs talks about how he, he used to have a master and what happened there and how the dog ended up in the laboratory and how he ended up with the life that he now knows. And it's it's a nice little backstory. It's very well written, but it's 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 challenging. And the reason that this is powerful, of course, is because this isn't how dogs should be treated. If anybody watches this and feels okay with it, that's a problem because that suggests that animal testing doesn't affect that person. I'm not saying you have to cry your eyes out watching it, but if you watch it and feel like it's no problem, the dogs were in a laboratory, they were being fed, what's the issue? That, of course, is in itself a problem. And the fact that this whole film is saying this is not the life for dogs, this is not what they should go through, I can do nothing but praise it. I think it's a, a very, very important message. And because it's difficult to watch, it shows that, you know, the average person is going to agree with that sentiment. Uh, and I think it's a very strong way of delivering that message. And it's done so with a beautiful, beautiful animation. We, Because the animals are, are obviously traveling a distance, we get a lot of different terrains and, and situations and backdrops it, it's very very well done there's a lot going on and the characters are very very likable the fox is an interesting one because the fox isn't quite as emotional as the two dogs because the fox is in its habitat whereas the dogs are obviously domestic animals those two dogs in particular uh, or they're, they're meant to be domestic animals so it's very different for them but the characters are all well written well animated the whole film is, it's, it's quite long. I think it's over an hour and a half. It's not tremendously long, but it's a, a long time to be on edge, to be very emotional. But as I said, that's that's a good thing. It's a good thing that it's difficult to watch because that means the message is getting across. The Plague Dogs is not a film I will ever, ever, ever be watching again, but not because it's not good. On the contrary, it's because it's so effective that I won't watch it again. But if you feel strong enough to give it a watch, 
I'd say definitely do so. Put it this way, the fact that it's rated A, where Watership Down is uh, universal, as far as I'm aware, it's a lot more difficult to watch than Watership Down. So if that traumatised you, as it did me, proceed with caution with the Plague Dogs. I won't be watching it again, but as I said, I have nothing but praise for it. <laughs> 